moving Ninox sorted data into Registax. In this particular folder location, there are 1400 FIT files. You may be using .bmp or some other format, as long as they're sorted by Ninox and accepted by Registax. Highlight all the files and drag and drop them into Registax. Registax will default to the alignment method of single. In our case, we're going to change the default alignment to none. This is because Ninox has already aligned and sorted the data for us. Bring up the frame list to verify that the data is sorted properly. Press the sort button. The low numbered frames from Ninox are the good quality frames. Those are going to show up on the left hand side of the screen. The slider bar at the bottom, moving from left to right, you will notice that the frame quality or the image quality data will decrease. In my case, on the right, I've got very poor frames that I definitely don't want to stack. Having 1400 files for my camera settings is more than enough. I'm going to look for a sweet spot of around 500. The key here is to slide the bar left and right to find a spot where you want to trim the bad frames on the right and keep the good frames on the left. Once you've found that, press the limit button. You'll notice that we've skipped the Optimize tab and move straight to the stack. You'll also notice that we have a stack size of where the slider bar was left at, in my case, 502. Now we simply press the Stack button. We've already performed alignment and sorting of the data in Ninox so we don't need to do it again. The key to finding the sweet spot is moving the slider around on the alignment tab. Remember that you'll be keeping the good frames on the left of the slider and throwing away the bad frames on the right. In reality, they're still sitting on your disk. You're just telling Registax to stack the good frames and not stack the bad. Now we're done and we haven't performed any additional alignment on the data. Now on the Wavelet tab, I typically will recall some previously saved settings or schemes by pressing the load scheme button. Browse to the folder. I will also save the raw file so that I don't have to go into Registax if I needed to later. I go up a directory to save it here and you'll find that this might be useful later. Save the red channel as R7 for this particular scheme. You might see in the other tutorials this file naming convention. That's it, and thanks for watching.